333.6. Fool, one day you hear. And then you're gone. As you've seen, I'm 291 as of today. I'm not that happy with how much I um, lost, but hey, um, I'll take it. And uh, for my next one, I'll be another 40 down. So, you know, it'll add up. And um, thank you guys for watching. And now, today is race day. So, let's go. Okay, guys, so um, I'm all checked in, I'm just waiting to start. And one, I'm very unprepared. Uh, there's really big hills and I have no water. So if I get thirsty up there, I'm screwed till I find water. So note to self, be prepared. Have water, have um, everything you need. And prepare ahead of time with uh, sunblock and all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm super nervous. I'm actually scared and yeah, I'm not, oh, another thing, I'm not good at burpees yet, so if I have to do them, um, I'm going to be lost, so yeah, you see my tough mutter, I don't like walls and that's the first thing I have to go over, I shit.
let me tell you guys a little bit about the race. I was very unprepared. Um, I suggest that if you're going to do one, you get a camel backpack with, um, you know, that holds the water in it. Because it's a mile before you get to um, a water station. That is the only thing that I felt um, held me back. I was getting really thirsty. It was really dry out there. Um, there was a lot of dust um, being picked up and just the wind was picking up and I'm not used to that. Um, I had dust like coming out of my nose and I was coughing up dust like it was pretty bad. Um, I have to say my legs surprisingly didn't give out on me. I didn't cramp up. My toes are a little bruised up from such um, the heel the hills were so steep and then coming down it was it was pretty bad um, I almost died someone almost uh, threw me over the cliff it was very small and I was going pretty fast compared to people behind me but you know other people are trying to go super fast that they even sliced my finger open um, and almost threw me over to the side it, it was pretty um, crazy um, but I finished it I kept going um, I did get very dehydrated at one point but somebody nice enough gave me water um, so yeah that's my only complaint is I wasn't prepared for such dry and um, hot weather it was it was really bad um, I have to say even though it was shorter it was harder than the Tough Mudder. The terrain is just hard. Really, really hard. Um, but yeah. um, also, there's not as much um, physical help um, in a Spartan compared to the Tough Mudder. People will stop and help you up the wall and stuff. All I had was Rick. Um, and at some point, somebody did help me um, go up the wall. But I'm all bruised up. I don't know if you can see it. I'm cut up, my leg is cut up, um, two near death experiences, it, I can say it's pretty, pretty humbling, and now just to train harder, and I want to get that trifecta, so most likely January I'll be doing the, um, what is it, the super, so yeah, so the super, and um, yeah, so I'll keep you guys tuned, and you guys, um, if you feel that you're not physical capable of physically capable of doing something like this, just go out there and try it. Um, you know, there was a lot of people with, um, you know, like physical um, impediments, and they still did it. So anybody can do it.